I'm a social activist for many, many years. Um, I'm a, a person who considers herself uh, with a progressive outlook about things uh, not only in Israel but in the world as a whole. In Israel, of course, I'm against the Israeli occupation and I'm very, very concerned today about what is going on in Syria, the question of the oppression, uh, the dictatorship of, uh, of Assad and the um, support he is getting by uh, the world or the, the world leadership. I think this is uh, a crime which is the biggest crime we have seen in this century. I'm not a big expert, uh, expert about Europe, um, but I have studied my history and I know that Europe has been um, saturated in uh, hundreds and hundreds of years of war between countries, between kingdoms, and finally, after the Second World War, uh, Europe has taught us that it is possible to live peacefully. But I think that we are entering a period now where um, this lesson is being um, questioned again. Can we really live in peace and can societies exclude themselves from the fate of other societies? And I think that the influx of re refugees into Europe in the last um, year or so, or the last two years, and especially refugees from Syria and from Africa show that the world is, cannot be isolated into islands and as a continent that has suffered so much from destruction and from war and racism, uh, I think that Europe should understand that you can't live in an island. If other people are not happy, then uh, happiness cannot be the lot of one continent. So uh, I try to um, implement this in my own society and in Israel. And I think this is maybe a lesson that all of us should understand that we have to put our hands together. We have to understand that happiness is something that everyone should have and everyone deserves. And I would like to see Europe doing a, a little bit more on these issues, A, regarding the Israeli occupation of the West Bank and Gaza, and B, regarding this uh, bloody conflict that we are seeing in Syria today.